Welcome to all. In this video, you will learn about SAP Organization Structure. SAP Organization Structure reflects the organization hierarchy in a company. It is important document created at the stage of blueprint itself, which requires the analysis of business process within company and which can be sign off if required, especially when company is operating on large scale with complex activities enterprise structure is very crucial activity in sap erp several internal structures of a company reflects in the enterprise structure in the viewpoint of mm following can be a part of its structure first is client second is company code third is plant fourth is storage location fifth is purchasing organization what is client it is the highest organization unit in sap it represents corporate group we will take an example of client for better understanding we consider a fictional group xyz limited which has different companies like xyz steel xyz retail and xyz pharma then in this case if xyz limited implements sap for all its companies in a single instance then it is called as client company code company code is independent and legal unit which have to maintain its own books of accounts like profit and loss account and balance sheet create uh, sorry after creation it has to be assigned to various other objects plan plan can be defined differently according to the roles and uses for pp that is production planning plant is an organization unit where activities related to production takes place likewise for mm plant is a place where valuated inventory is maintained storage location storage location is a physical place or location where inventory is stored it is assigned to plant storage location can be different based on material type purchasing organization a purchasing organization looks after all the purchasing related activities as well as documentation part like purchase orders contracts or scheduling agreement etc major part of p2p cycle is maintained by purchasing organization purchasing organization can be of different types first is purchasing organization at enterprise level a single purchasing organization for corporate level it will be responsible for purchasing activities for all company codes within enterprise it can be used when central purchasing department works for all the purchasing and related work second is purchasing organization on plant level a purchasing organization is created for individual plant it is useful when vendors are located nearby to plant and hence purchasing decisions are made locally then third is cross plant in this case one single purchasing organization is responsible for the purchasing activities of several plants it is useful when company is in various countries and centralized purchasing organization is not required then cross company code a single purchasing organization is responsible for multiple company codes in this case last point in enterprise structure is purchasing group a purchasing group are responsible for day to day buying activities as against purchasing organization are for critical purchasing activities they are independent of purchasing organization company code or even plants uh okay thank you to all the viewers for watching my small video on enterprise structure this video is meant for a conceptual understanding of all the viewers regarding enterprise structure 
uh, if you like this video please uh, click on like and please don't forget to subscribe thank you